more slime. So right now we're done with washing of snails. So for some of you that always find it hard to wash out snail, you have seen the methods for washing it, the benefits, the ones that are shorter, the ones that are long, longer in process to be done. And now we're about to do packaging. So let's go. <sighs> okay, are you done? Yes, we are ready for the packaging. So what do we have here now? Well, uh, we are done with the with the cleaning. Yes. We are about to package uh, the snail now. Okay. Well, this is actually the local, the normal local way of a layman. You know, yes, a housewife can do it at home. A bachelor can do it at home. So this is what we are because we are, not, we are not using engine. We are just using this manual. Okay. Okay. Now we have different types of packaging. We have the one we we use a zip lock, zip lock to okay. package. We also have this. Then we have the one we use tray. Okay. Packaging tray. And we use for to wrap, wrap it, up. it up. Okay. Now let's go with this. Okay, let's go with this. We have to wash this. Alright. Then we now place them here. Place them here. And we have to turn it. Okay. We have to turn it upside down. Now it's presentation. So that it will be appealing to the eyes. Yes, to the eyes. We cut this one off too. To always turn your snail upside down. Okay. Apart from aesthetic, you know, reasons, is there any other reason? No. Okay. Just to be appealing. Yes. Okay. So this is seal wrap for it. Mm. Okay. Beautiful already. Okay, so that's it. Wow. Nice. This is it. awesome. <laughs> that's using the tree. Yes, this is nice. So this can go After right that, into the refrigerator. Yeah. We now put our label. Of course, identity. This is our identity. <laughs> now you are going to show us another type of packaging that can be done. Yes. Right? What's this packaging called? This is a. Uh, this, uh, this one and this one they are the same thing. Okay, just with the wrapper. Like, yes. So it doesn't this involve a tray. This one doesn't involve a tray. Okay. They're just using these uh, packing bags. Okay, packing bags. So, yes. This one is a uh, zip zip lock. Yes. Why this one does not have zip? Okay. So just this one you fold it and, and you seal it and up. seal it up. So now let's see how it goes. Okay. This one is very cheap. Mm -hmm. A pack like this is like about five to six hundred. And how many do you get in a pack? Hundred. Wow, hundred. Yes. That's that's economical for a this one, business person. This one is almost about uh, four thousand. For a pack of. A pack of like fifty. This is yes, 50. I know Ziploc is is uh, is more expensive. Yes. So we rather go with this because this this is very economical. Yes, it is. So let's go with this. Yes. Okay. I take this. Still do the same thing. To place it well. Uh, arrange it. Arrange it. Good. Good. 
Sí. Sí. Remove this seal. Okay. That's the gummy part that will seal the. Yes. Now bring it down. Now fold it. This way. This way. Ready for the shell. Ready for the shell. <clears throat> now this is like let's weigh it and see what this will give us. <clears throat> like about uh, 800 grams, 7 to 800 grams. Yeah, almost, almost 700, 700 grams. grams. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? You will imagine that the process will be one tedious long process, but for my dad knows how to simplify these processes and it's something that you can be part of. It's something that you can do in your homes. It's something that you can achieve. My name is Pascal Okora. This is Top 10 Nigeria and we are out for today. By the way, I actually want to interview Christabel because Christabel, I did a documentary for her making cakes and I incidentally I now see her, you know, handling snail as you saw in those, those videos. What I want to know is how did she get into this snail business? How did she transition from cake to snail farming? That's interesting. Hello, Christabel. Hi, Pascal. Good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. It was interesting. I was slightly shocked to see you move from cake. You know, cake is like delicate and fancy kind of thing. And Farming is like you need to get your hands dirty. Like in my place, they say the dirty hands bring the food. Mm -hmm. So, how did you? Wh what did you get into first? Was it cake or farming? Uh, I got into the cake business first. Okay. That was like nine years ago. Okay. So the farming thing started last year. Oh. Mhm. Mm so with all the COVID thingy, the pandemic, yes. everything happening, and I told myself I needed something else to add to what I had yeah. as a business. And then knowing fully well as a woman, oh, how the market for snail is. Yes. So for that reason, I decided to venture into it. So how did I get to meet Farmer Edit? Yes, that, that was the question <laughs> because I, I do documentary for Farmer Edit and now you are here and I do documentary for you as well. So, <laughs> so <laughs> just tell us. <laughs> How did you get into who? Well, like you said, you do documentaries for him. And that was where I saw it. I watched his uh, videos online and I was like, wow, this man knows his onions as regards to farming, snail farming. farming. So for that reason, I decided to contact him and that was it. Voila. And he started teaching me how to everything, the intrigues in snail farming, starting with the registration, the, um, what's it called, the uh, materials. Then, of course, since I'm in Abuja, I'm, I, I decided to be his apprentice. Yeah, so, so that so, I, can, <laughs> I can get all the nitty gritty yeah, that has to do with snail farming. So you're farming. a student here? Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay, that's beautiful. <laughs> for almost a year, he said uh, the farming thing started yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, during the pandemic. Yes, yes. yes. So it's about, it's going to a year now. Mm. Top 10 Nigeria, we're doing great work. We'll see, <laughs> we are going so viral that people are seeing this and becoming an apprentice. And if we want to learn the fundamentals, the rudimentals, all the questions you want answered, this might be something you will consider. And you make a career out of it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so, awesome. So that's the story of snail farming so far. With La Creamy <laughs> <laughs> This is interesting. This is interesting. So, um, do you sometimes, you know, bake cake and give your boss, you know, for teaching you some of these oh, things? Of course, or... of course, of course. <laughs> and he has to patronize you because La Creamy Gato is a company on its, on own. its own. Yes. So he will be patronizing you and eating cake from, from he La Creamy Gato. Let's talk a little bit about La Creamy Gato. How is it doing now? It's doing so well. Okay, that's it's beautiful. So well. That's beautiful. What was the latest cake that you made? Ah, uh, you know, they say knowledge is power. Mm hmm you know yes so in the cake industry like i remember talking telling you that day that um you know there's a whole lot to learn yes cake is very versatile yes so um i as a person as an as a as an 
entity or a human being i take out time to upgrade my knowledge oh. so that i can give my customers the best okay. and also the students that are coming to me would also get the best from me you Do know you get? they said that's the feature of a business you have to keep evolving you have yeah. to keep up with the trend you have to yes. keep on going so, now talk to us about the photo that you showed me where you had this towering cake uh, in front of you. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of cake is that? That's a wedding cake. It looks That's like a wedding one. cake, yes. That's it's a wedding beautiful. cake. But I wouldn't lie to you, that was the cake I went for training for. Okay. And I actually went for training for that wedding cake because of some of the techniques on that cake. Not the baking of the cake itself. itself. Okay. Yes. It's actually the techniques, especially the lighting. If you look at that cake, there's a light coming out from the cake. So wow. there's this lighting part in it that I needed to go and upgrade myself <laughs> on, wow. which led me to go for the class. The lady I used, I went for, she's very good with lighting. Okay. okay? And other things. So those were the things that actually took me for that training. And I was, uh, in short, I am satisfied, extremely okay. satisfied with the outcome of the class. Yeah. So my students, get ready <laughs> <laughs> because you're going to get loads and loads and loads of new things on La Crime yes. So, Well, they say a master can be a master and a student at the same time. If you're learning a new process, you're a student. If you're a master of a new process, you are a master. So consider whatever sphere of life that you are in, you may need to consider being a student somewhere in order to be a master tomorrow. So that's it for today. My name is Pascal Okora. This is Top 10 Nigeria and I'm out. <laughs>